Welcome to ITSP. This is the lecture number second about AWS series. So last we covered about the architecture, uh, client server architecture. So uh, those are people first time watching this video. Please go through the last video where I have taught you where I have discussed all the point of client server architecture. And if you want notes also, just uh, send me the request on Attic Study Park. You can find the link in the description below, in the description section. So there you can just send me the request, then I will approve and you can enjoy the notes. So this is the first notes. You can just click on this and it will download. Okay, and open this here. The last class we discuss about client server architecture let's uh, just recap all these things so now tell me what is that client server architecture guys tell me so client server architecture the client is a different client is which is uh, send the request to the resource and server is uh, response to the request that's it client server architecture is completed we have three types of mainly the first tier second tier third tier and end tier okay so first tier one tier application one tier architecture is completely dead no one can use it why because this is client itself and server itself making them so that's why but two tier architecture is there and there's still some legacy companies are using two tier architecture in the two tier architecture application layer and database layer are both in the uh, server in the application server same there and we have another like uh, client layer also we have in this section we have two layer one is the application layer second one is the uh, not application layer i would say server layer and second one the client layer okay in the server layer we have uh, both things like your application and database also so here why the people are not using that type of uh, architecture well, because uh, application server and uh, of your application and database both are in the same server and it will reduce uh, increase the downtime it's uh, like an and crash sometimes it's your application is crash okay and slow down that's why this is not recommended yet two three tire architecture is recommended in the three tire architecture we have three things first one the client layer server layer and database layer right we would say yeah this is the example i have put all these things about this okay so just fast recap i, I would say uh, what in the application layer just your application is running that's it nothing else and okay in the database layer your database is installed which database you are using for your application and database is connecting through the ip address right <laughs> IP address it is using and web server we are using. Why we are using web servers? Why? Because for the security purpose. Okay. Security purpose. Now because if you are using application layer as a public, then hackers will attack your application layer. So we don't want to as a public application server. So we need a, this as a private and this need a, as a private. And your private your, uh, and uh, interacting with that your web servers web server having configuration about the your application layers application servers and we use web servers like tomcat nginx etc like that and uh, so now some question rise here what is the web server web server is take the request from the client and redirect to your application like service server layer now next to the what is the ip address ip address the unique identification for the particular device in the on the internet right what is that application layer what is that application application server having that host right and what is the database server database server where we install our database right mm -hmm. okay so now here you can see the application server the application server where we hosted our application that's it and database server is where we stored our database okay the internet unique identification by using communication that's it and uh, while using this like web server so this is not for we have right now four layers like client 
server web server application layer like that okay so we cannot say this is that uh, what is that four tier architecture we can say this is the entire architecture so this is all about last sessions so move forward today session today session is related to this only first i will tell you when you type when you type a url in your browser what happened guys tell me if you know that point also please tell me when you type anything in your browser so what happened okay so this is the overview this is the overview not a deep point what i will do told you what happened just a four point i have mentioned five point i have mentioned because of some uh, this is you can say like this is overview not a deep that but i will uh, discuss in this video itself what happened inside this when this connection is happening if api inside the api not API, ip okay so now translate first when you entered anything in your browser suppose google.com you entered right suppose that so that browser needs to address computer understanding okay what that uh, your computer is understanding which type of this and this one two things first is the host name host name and second is the ip okay host name and so that is the translate to url okay the ip mil jayegi na then it will translate to the url like dot com okay it's a machine language but you entered just google.com that's it into a numerical ip address right ip address using the dns lookup okay it's a dns lookup what happened in the dns look i will discuss in this video okay like this phone book or the internet right this is the example like connection then next step when you get the ip address and uh, host name both thing you get it then connection with the ip address with the ip address, your browser connect to the server hosting the website hosting website like kahan pe aapki website hosted hai usse connect kare theek hai request the the browser send the request to the server after that by can after connecting with your server then your uh, your browser will send a request to your server then typically using the http or like https protocol specify the url and other needed info one other then respond that uh, server receive the request and send back to the data from the websites which website web pages images etc okay display the browser interact the data from the html css whatever language the developed that resource will you get so this is the overview now what happened when you entered any url in the browser is exactly what happened so exactly what happened guys exactly is first first we suppose we have any computer let's take out the computers there okay that's okay this we can take computer right this i just take v as a computer mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay i think this is then so i think so. this should be there mm -hmm. okay No, this is not. Mm -hmm. so we have a computer and you entered something inside the computer like you enter like what is this needed what is this needed guys the heat bonds two things in your browser this is suppose browser browser right browser went to two things what is that host name host name or what is that host name or domain name domain name right 
by using host name also you can get it and by domain name also okay and second thing is ip okay these two things want a browser okay so now when you enter something inside the browser like suppose enter google okay then google go inside that where it will go and check it will go and check that here inside that uh, where inside that dns inside the local dns check that this is the local dns local dns domain name server dns is dns is domain name server right okay so now when this entered then this will dns local dns is check in your system if inside you, which you enter domain name or like ip if that uh, find that uh, domain name domain name related ip inside your local first it will check a cache system on your uh, uh, browser it will check if it is there then it will retrieve from itself here but it if it is not there then go one step forward and it will search inside that what is that it will search inside that root name server root name server it will search where it will search root name server rns rns it will search root name server it will search where it will search root name server root name server okay here here what is identifying here this is identifying here it will identify what is that uh, you are sending like com dot com identifying find dot com dot org or dot in like that like that here rns is the responsibility to identify which type of extension the browser is finding right suppose uh, rns find out the dot com dot com then if it is there then dot com interact with one more thing it will it will interact with the top level domains like top level level suppose dot com okay this is the dot com suppose you can get it this is the dot com right there this is the dot com server suppose that this is the dot com okay this is the dot com in the dot com having uh, google dot com okay and um, something facebook.com right and some other etc like that we have multiple things inside the dot com right having okay now next is next when it is finding when it is finding then it is finding the ns name perfectly ns name it will find this is the related to which is related to what is that what is related to it is identifying the top level domain top level tns top level domain Suppose you, this identify na dot com top level domain. This is identify dot com. We will go. Then top level domain send to request to that uh, some other DNS. What is that? Uh, name server. Name server. Name server. 
then name server name server will identify the domain right it just identify the domain which related to a domain is there like you are hitting a google.com or like facebook.com then this is responsible for that suppose here we got a google.com okay then this send a request to some other uh, browser like that here in the google.com and this is the one other thing soa soa start of authority start of authority then it will having uh, ip address hint. ip addresses addresses okay this is so now when you get the ip address related to google.com the same process is go down go back go back top label and rns and dns and give your to browser then now we get the google.com also and ip address right we get it all this thing right right i think you understood what is happening inside this right so after this when you come inside it not right now page will not come page will not come when the page will come guys in the piece will come. let's see so now this is our what is that this is our server i would say this is our server right this is our server where where we have a where we have a what is that our application we have a number of layers we have but i'm just declaring two or three that's it okay so now we get that here we have a now i'm just writing what is that here we have a app like client web this is our architecture client server architecture this is your app tell me tell me tell me your db right same thing is happening web app the different different server we have db web app and db right and we have one when this is the server then this will try uh, your browser when get that username then this is trying to hit your browser server this will do google company we have suppose you are hitting a google google or whatever company google company right google company and this google company provide one firewall for this also like everything what is that here firewall is doing what here we define some rules in the firewall sections in the firewall section we define some rules like this type of rules like which request want to process which request want to block here we define a rule here in the firewall we can write firewall like define a rule a rule rule right define a rule for a rule for your uh, what is that what is that your request rule for your request rule rule for your request like suppose your uh, service request is uh, not any uh, breaking that rule then it will process but before that process we have another thing what is that 
this is the very very important this is a too big and real time is happening without this you cannot do anything what is that load balancer lb we can say lb what is that load balancer load balancer is distributed the traffic with your multiple application now now we have a, this as uh, up running in the different ip this is running in the different ip this is running on different ip but in the role load balancer responsibility it send the request to the particular thing particular browser it will identify that which web server is free then send back to the request app server interact with the db like that okay so now when the everything is goes fine suppose google.com is goes fine the load balancer is done okay load balancing is done then same process will again back forward request to the web server web server give the load balancer load balancer give the request to the firewall firewall give to your google company google company send back to the request on your browser then here you will get what is that google.com page will show now this much drama will happen when you had hit, hit a simple uh, endpoint inside that simple uh, url inside that browser you hit got it so this is the milli nanosecond work is there support here just uh, i'm showing to you for your reference purpose just i am entering what is that uh suppose amazon aws i am entering let's see just this is the browser purpose okay it will convert first it will take it will search in my cache dns local dns cafe related to aws if it is not found then go upside i hit and you can see it will search google.com right google.com search okay it will change that uh, it will give the page names okay like that if you hit this i will show you very here you can see aws.amazon.com it will identify this if it is there in my inside my uh, cache then it will not go where it will not go inside that rns it will not go it will return from itself here but if it not there in the cache this uh related to ip address here all things is we need a ip address and host name okay if it is not there then it will go forward then top level then it, it will identify that this is the identifiers which type of uh, rns is identifiers which type of domain you have entered like dot com we i entered and this will give to the top level domain then top level identify that inside the google.com inside the dot com have a multiple here you can say inside the dot com we have multiple urls okay multiple urls multiple domains names so this will fetch that domain related domains name and it will give to that uh what is that name servers name servers will identify the name of that particular thing like suppose google.com and it will give to the soa soa will identify that uh, uh name uh, ip address of this what is that ip address of google.com then it will give back to that your browser then browser will then hit your web server where is that google.com suppose this is the google.com it's like amazon you can take also then uh, google.com like amazon.com will build do build a one firewall for protecting uh, the application this is the authorized like unauthorized things okay suppose if you enter the http and https then what is that authorized recommended https it's a secure and http is not a secure one okay so ye hit karega isko then firewall get perfect working it's no authorization rule broke breaking then go inside the load balancer it will send the request to the load balancer then load balancer will distribute that your traffic like suppose load balancer having a thousands of request from browsers different different browser give the request to your application then the load balancer will distribute that your traffic the, the different different this is that's why that's why what is that that's why client server architecture is required so this is the client server architecture right web app layer and this is client is this and this is your web server architecture guys this is
So I think it's clear to you guys. So now I want to discuss some basic point to you. What is the point we have? Okay, next. So we have a one, what is the port? Tell me protocol. Some this is the protocol. What is the protocol? Internet protocol we have na? so some basic one. Tell me HTTP. HTTP ka port kya hota bhai? Bata. Default port is 80. Mm -hmm. 80. HTTP yes ka 443. Okay. And SSH secure cell. This is the secure cell be, uh, be, uh, dip, uh, be launch IC2 machine from that uh, AWS na? so this is default port is 2020 and one more thing desktop remote desktop what is the RDP remote desktop right 3389 this is that Perfectly. So this is about uh, what is that DNS name and okay firewall which is step to unauthorized like authorized persons. Okay. Why well, because we are not passing our IP address for that for, uh, for that uh, uh, like suppose if you having IP address like right uh, one more scenario I am just discussing to you suppose. Uh, Mm -hmm. Got it. Here we have IP address like suppose that HTTP P slash slash one six two one zero zero one four six slash like that. We have a two. We have a five. Now this is the recommended way to give the IP address from your browser. Here you put at this different different IP address in the ten times, then this browser will uh, give the response to you. No, so just they provide one domain name. Suppose uh, ITSP. Okay, I deploy this application and provide one load balancer. Load balancer will in, when load balancer we identify that your request which request we I should which server is free, and it will send to that server. That's why load balancer is very, very important part. In the upcoming session, we will deploy the load balancer also. So this is total about uh, today's session, guys. So next, we will learn about uh, something, some other things. Okay, so thank you. Thank you. We will meet the next session about AWS. Then we will learn more about this. This two or three, like four or five sessions, I will take basics. So, so this is the related to last video if you watched last video then you are able to understand this also if you not watched last video then maybe some difficulty you will face but it's fine to identify that thing okay so now one more time i'm just revising for you so here you can see what is that our topic when you type a url in your browser what happened first is the translation so that point is the translator translation part i have shown you so in the one steps they go yeah translation the translation yes this is the translation part this is the translation this total point having the translation part like अब तुमने नाम दिया है उसको क्या चाहिए आईपी एड्रेस चाहिए डोमेन नेम चाहिए क्योंकि मशीन द्वारा नाम दो ना समझते हैं मशीन समझती है आईपी एड्रेस तुम्हारे कोई एप्लीकेशन डिप्लॉय होगा आईपी एड्रेस पे आईपी एड्रेस को मैप कर देते हैं डोमेन नेम के साथ लेकिन ब्राउजर को चाहिए कि आईपी एड्रेस सो क्या करता है वो लोकल में ढूंढता है अगर कैशे में है तो इट्स गुड टू देन गिव टू द ब्राउजर अगर कोई कैशे में नहीं है तो आरएनएस को ज्यादा है रूट नेम सर्वर तो रूट नेम सर्वर के पास सारे होते हैं डॉट कॉम ओआरज इन सब कुछ होता है ठीक है अगर इसमें है जैसे मैंने डॉट कॉम दिया तो डॉट कॉम उसको मिल गया फिर उसने डॉट कॉम भेज दिया टॉप लेवल अब ये टॉप लेवल डॉट कॉम ढूंढेगा डॉट कॉम के अंदर कितने डोमेन है जो डोमेन नेम सर्वर होते हैं डोमेन नेम सर्वर इसे बोलते हैं डोमेन नेम सर्वर ठीक है तो उसने आइडेंटिफाई ले लिया आइडेंटिफाई करा कि गूगल है भाई 
तो उसने भेज दिया एसओए के बाद एसओए का कहता है स्टार्ट ऑफ ऑथराइज थ्राइज ये अब आईपी एड्रेस रखता है सबके ठीक है तो ये आईपी एड्रेस दे देगा इस फिर वापस दे देगा इसको इसको ये इसको इसको ब्राउजर को देन ब्राउजर हिट कर देगा तुम्हारे आईपी थ्रू द आईपी एड्रेस तुम्हारे एप्लीकेशन को जो एप्लीकेशन तुम्हारा सर्वर पे डिप्लॉय होगा सर्वर पे डिप्लॉय होगा पहले वो फायरवेल पर इंटरेक्ट करेगा अगर कोई रूल है जो ब्रेक ना कर रहा हो ठीक है तो वो लोड बैलेंसर के पास भेजेगा ठीक है लोड बैलेंसर देखेगा कि रिक्वेस्ट कितनी है ठीक है कहाँ कहाँ से आ रही है तो उसने तुम्हारी पहली रिक्वेस्ट आई तो वेब एप्लीकेशन को भेज दिया डेटा वापस दे दिया अगर दस हजार रिक्वेस्ट आ गई तो वो डिस्ट्रीब्यूट कर देगा दस हजार को तीन एप्लीकेशन में बहुत एप्लीकेशन डिप्लॉय करते हैं बहुत सर्वर्स पे ठीक है सो दिस इज द टोटल पार्ट एंड लास्ट में कुछ बताया जो कि प्रोटोकॉल के डिफॉल्ट बोर्ड होते हैं तो बेसिक पता होना चाहिए इसलिए बता दिया तो बताओ एस टी टीपी का एस टी टी पी का होता है टी एंड एस टी टी पी एस सिक्योर एस टी टी पी एस तो फोर फोर थ्री एंड एस एस एच सिक्योर शेल जिससे हम ए डब्ल्यू एस पे इस लॉन्च कर लॉन्च करते हैं अगर नहीं देखा वीडियो तो जाकर देख लेना ठीक है आर डी पी आर डी पी रिमोट डेस्कटॉप प्लेटफॉर्म होता है जैसे हम रिमोट डेस्कटॉप लॉन्च करते हैं डब्ल्यू एस मैं सब दिखाऊंगा ठीक है सो so, तब तक के लिए बाय मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में देखते हैं क्या पता ठीक है थैंक यू थैंक यू वी विल मीट नेक्स्ट वीडियो यस दिस आई विल कंप्लीट ऑल दिस सेशन यस डेफिनेटली दिस सीरीज आई विल कंप्लीट या आई नो दैट सम वीडियोज आई हैव ब्रेक इन बिकॉज ऑफ सम वर्क आई हैव डन इन माई कंपनी ओके सो दैट थैंक यू थैंक यू वी मीट नेक्स्ट